Great day everyone, welcome to another Vegas Pro tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you best render settings for your 1080p 60fps videos. So let's go for it. First of all, as you can see, we got our video here. Uh, let's say this is our video we want to export. So before we starting the export, we have to set up a few things around the video. First of all, click here for the project video properties. After it's opened, you have to check if everything is set right. Uh, as I said before, we want to render 1080p 60fps video. So, uh, we have to check if width is 1920, if the height is 1080, that's all good. Field order none, progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio we are keeping at 1, output rotation 0. Frame rate. If you want to render your video as 60fps, you have to choose 59.940. FPS. Do not rewrite it uh, by 60 because basically it's not clearly 60, it's 59.940. So just choose this option, do not override it. Just simply choose it. Next, we are moving pixel format 8 bit. Okay, full resolution rendering quality you have to set for best. Then motion blur type, uh, keep Gaussian. Uh, nextly, the interlace method blend field, that's good. And resample mode, you need to change to disable resample. As soon as you set everything as you want, you can click on apply and you can click on OK. In case that this is the default settings that you want to use for multiple videos, you can simply rewrite the template. So basically, let's write here uh, 1080p 60 FPS. And we can click on save and basically anytime in the future when we will want to use this template we can just click on this uh, like arrow and we can find our setting as you can see here click apply and click on ok okay so as i said this is our video make sure before you click on the render that you will click right on the video click on properties and then check disable resample basically this is really great mainly at the gaming videos when you have really a lot of fps so basically disable resample make the picture the video moved like more smoother so really make sure to check disable resample click on ok and now let's go for the render settings so for the render you can click on this icon render s or you can go to file and click on render s here, as you can see, we got multiple options out of which you can choose what you want to render as. You can render as MP4 or basically anything else. But after short research, uh, I found out that the best format for rendering your video is Sony AVC slash MVC. So when you want to render, simply click on Sony AVC slash MVC. And then you have here again multiple templates. So for us, I believe we want to render video for the YouTube or something like this. So I'm going to click on internet 9020 times 1080 30p. But as you can see, it's 30p and basically we want to customize it a little bit. So I will click here to customize template. And then as you can see here, we can again set up multiple things. So video format AVC. Here you can see what video format you want to choose. In my case, AVC is just good. Frame size, it's uh, the same as was the project setting. So that's good. The profile high, uh, we can keep it that way. Uh, entropy coding Quebec. That's uh, the only option here and the good one too. Frame rate. As you can see, the frame rate is set in default for 30 FPS, but in my case, my video is at the 60 FPS, so I need to change it to 59.9040, like this. And nextly, we are going down there. So basically, this is the main thing about the all render settings. Why this is the best render settings? Basically, here you can choose the bitrate in what the video will be rendered as. Uh, as higher bitrate, the higher should be the quality of your video, but at the same time, it will take the bigger space at your like memory for your computer. So, in the end, you have to decide what balance you will choose. 60 millions, as we can see in the default, is quite a good value for the 1080p 30fps video. But in our case, we have 60fps video, so we need to increase this number. In my case, I'm using uh, the last possible value, the 25 million, blah, blah, blah. So in my case, I'm using 26, what is it, megabits? I don't know, whatever. So 26 millions, uh, basically, 
Uh, I tried even higher values, but as I said, it's taking a lot of memory to, from your computer and at the same time, when you choose too big value here, your video actually can look worse than at the lower bit rates because it can be a bit more blurry and there can be some pixels problem. So basically don't choose two big values. As I'm showing you right now, the 26 million, the last option is quite good. So nextly enable progressive download. I got check it. Nextly we are going to audio uh, when we can see the check at include audio, uh, sample rate 48,000, bit rate 128,000. You can change audio bitrate up to, I would say, 224,000 BPS. Of course, depends on how much of audio I have in my video, how much it's used. Basically, what is it audio? Is it music? Is it uh, like voice? What is it? So, of course, depends on what kind of video it is. So, the bitrate you can choose. So, in my case, let's say 224. Audio coding mode stereo. Nextly, we are going to system, it's nothing to change. And the project we are setting with a rendering quality, we are choosing the best. And stereo, topic 3D mode, nothing. So color space default. And ladies and gentlemen, that is almost all. We got the last things to mention. And this is again the template here. As you can see, we got the name. And basically, as I showed you before with the project settings, you can simply do the same here. So let's say it's 1080p. 60 FPS uh, template, so you can just rewrite it, or for example, you can write YouTube 1080p 60 FPS, and you will simply click on the save uh, icon, and you will have saved your template, and you can use it anytime in the future you want. So then simply just click on OK. And as you can see, uh, your new template is at the top of the templates. You can click on the start to actually choose it as a favorites and it will be like uh, goodly visible between all of the other templates. Nextly, you will simply choose where you want to uh, render your video. So you will choose the folder and then the name of your video. As you can see here is a jump drop from one of our last videos from the CSGO. Then you just click on render and you simply wait. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.